Okay, so I will go through the past year questions in exercise 4.3 in this video for chapter 4. Alright, so let's look at the second question. The first question has been completed uh, in the slides. So the second one, Rani borrows 1,200, repays 250 monthly. So this is what I need you to say, 250 monthly. So your interest rate here is always 18% per annum is for per year. Per annum is per year. So meaning monthly is 1.5% per month. All right. So the amount owed at the beginning of the month is 1,002. What is A? What should A be? Times 1 point. You don't need to calculate. It's already given to you here. 1.5%, right? So you times 1.015. I've explained in the previous video why is it like that? Because it's 101.5%, in other words. Okay. So how to find B? You multiply 1.015 minus repayment, you will get this. C is your last payment. Your last payment also you have to subject to interest. Your last payment is 4.74. Determine how much interest does she pay. So you first of all find out how much she paid in total. Then you minus the principal, you will get the interest. Question 3. A person borrows 2000 at the end of each month. Interest 2% is calculated on the outstanding and the repayment is 400 Find the amount at the beginning of the second month. So interest is 2% calculated on the outstanding. They already gave you the monthly interest, so you don't need to think about it so much. You just apply 2,000 times 1.02 minus repayment will be the value. So find the repayment made at the final month. You will need to put this table down um, all together one by one. You've got to calculate it one by one and you've got to put it down. All right. Okay, moving forward. A person borrows 3000 and repays 1000 at the end of each year, 15% per year. So at the end of the fourth year, a person decides not to just pay back the usual 1000 but he wants to settle the whole thing. So you do for three years, and whatever that's balanced, you charge interest to it, and that will be your final repayment. All right? Moving on, Junior is... Junior is buying a motorbike costing 4.5. Now, the moment you see flat rate, this one I want you to see what is flat rate, simple interest. Buying a car, buying a bike, buying flat rate is simple interest. Okay, so for full 4,005, I equals to PRT, your principal 4,005, 14% times 3 is your simple interest formula. Total payment, then you divide with the total number of months, this is what you will get. The part B says 900 is from his savings. So if 900 is from his savings, meaning now your principal is only 36, okay? So it's 1512. So your total payment is 361512. Why you must add 900? 900, 900 is, is also the cost. If you also paid 900, so that is the cost. But when you find monthly payment, you cannot add the 900. It should only be the principal plus interest. 5112, understand? All right, pass your question. Here yeah, they've given you three investment opportunities. You choose one. Okay, so you find the future value for all and you see which one makes the highest. When it's investment, you choose the one with the most money. If it's loan, you choose the cheapest option. So you have to be very careful here. So you find one by one, like how I've done here. And then you choose the one that yields the most money. Question two is quite straightforward. It's just simple interest. You find the interest and then they want to know future value. You add back to principal, no problem. The next part, Hakim is now 17 years old. He knows he needs a down payment of 25,000 then. Then, okay, how much should he invest now? When they ask you things like that, how much should he invest now? What you want is principal. So your future value equals to principal times 1 plus your interest 5% over quarterly to the power of 32. And you solve it to find P to the nearest dollar. You have to round off to a whole number, 16,800. How much interest you minus and you find interest. Okay, this one, 12%. PA is per annum, meaning per year, for the first 30 days. And then it reverts to 7.5% per annum per year. Okay, $5,000 is deposit. So calculate the interest in the first 30 days. So 5,000 times 0 0.12, they say 365. You follow, you get this. Remainder of the year, 0. 075 okay it would be 335 the balance number of days 365 this is your value 
Calculate the total interest received for the year. You just add both of these up, you will get this. <clears throat> what is the effective rate of interest? The fastest way to do this is put the interest old principal times 100. Effective rate of interest is not your interest rate. It's different. Effective rate is, a, is like a prorated rate for the year. So you just take the interest you earn over the... So you use this way, the answer will be slightly different by 0 0.01, but it's fine. Next part, <clears throat> credited annually. So this is for one year. What is the difference? You just minus. Credited six monthly. That means it's going in every six months. So this is compound interest. But you don't worry. In your exam, they will state it very clearly whether it's compound interest or simple interest. Then you just follow. Okay? They won't tell you credited six monthly. This is no longer in your syllabus. Okay? Lynette deposited 20,000. So there are two ways to do this. You can use 20,000 and then the first year because uh, it will be one, right? So it's just compounded quarterly. That's your value. And then for the second year, you'd use 20,000 again. But here, you write two years. Okay, so you will get this value. Total interest, you just add it up. Okay, if he leaves the money, how much would he have at the beginning of eight year? When they say beginning of eight year, meaning we're talking about seven years. A lot of students will put eight year. No, beginning of eight years is what happened in the last seven years. Okay, unless they tell you end of the eight year, then here you can put eight. Understand? All right, next one. Bank A, Bank B, one is ordinary, one is exact. All right. Basically, um, how much should they borrow? So, 80% only because 20% goes on that. So, you'll be left with 80%. Which bank should they borrow from? So, you use your I equals to PRT. This is ordinary. It will be based on 360 days. This is exact based on 365 days. You find uh, which one actually has a lower interest and that is the bank that you would choose. Alright, any questions, please reach out to me and I will help you.